Hey, what's up guys? It's me, Eddie, and I'm back with another episode of Doki Doki Blue Skies! Woo! I'm really excited. Okay. So, yeah, uh, this is where we left off last episode. Another day, another lesson. Hold on. Boom. I never realized I could do that. <laughs> or, I, it's not that I never realized, I just remembered I could do that. Another day, another lesson. Thankfully, it's a Friday, meaning the tempting allure of weekend beckons. What happened to the literature club? Just one more day to sit through. As Sakurai explains the origins of the war, my mind can't... Yo, you're still on that? <laughs> Facts. I wonder what she's up to. <clears throat> World War I, my friends. The clash of empires. No side was truly ever good. No matter what the historians, no, no matter what the uh, politicians try to tell you, this is World War One, not World War Two. R World War Two, like you could generally agree that the Axis powers were awful. Doesn't mean the Allies weren't great. Like, sure, the USSR was really no better than some of the Axis powers at times. But you have uh, Nazi Germany and Imperial Japan, both awful nations. No matter what some uh, certain right wingers would try to tell you. As for World War One, yeah, like. Honestly, I kind of feel do feel bad for a. Uh... <laughs> Never mind. YouTube, YouTube's gonna kill me for uh, misunderstanding something. Honestly, she's been on my mind a little more than usual. Even when I was at home, just playing video games in an effort to procrastinate on my homework. Knowing her, she's probably doodling instead of paying attention. But again, I'm daydreaming myself. Get shorter attention. <laughs> me too, but I get really focused on things I'm uh, really interested in, like this video game, for example. I agree. Game over here, buddy. New water bottle. <laughs> I just have a bunch of water bottles here in my room. It's a little warm inside here anyway. We just turned on the AC, so it's a lot better now. Uh, <laughs> da, da, da. No, soccer is going to interrupt you in the funniest way possible. Dad. Hey, Edward. Sorry, Daddy. I just want to play. Such a ball of energy, aren't you? Don't worry. Your dad and I will... Depth to them. See, I see. <laughs> oh, this is so adorable. I personally like vanilla the most. It's the sweetest. It's the sweetest flavor. Oh, <laughs> Is this your first meeting? Oh. Her face is a little big though, the sprite. I could tell they tried to use a... Yeah, for a fan sprite, this is really good. It's okay, I'm Sayori. Hi Sayori, I'm Edward. Now I realize I really should have used my Korean name. Ah, damn it! I, um, saw you looking sad. Do you want some ice cream? That makes me happy when I'm feeling sad. Ice cream? For me? You buy that for me? Sure. My mommy gave me too much money. Hee <laughs> hee. I would have gotten two ice creams for myself. <laughs> this is so adorable! <laughs> you look sad. Now it's like seeing my friends sad. Ah yes, things are so much simpler back when you were little. You know how you made friends back then? You walked up to a, to a person and said, Let's be friends! And the other kid was like, Yeah! Let's be friends! And then you two would be friends. Aww. 
Are you sure? Yeah, she looks kind of shy. <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you. The cinna, that one with the, with the long name. The cinna, cinema, cinnanon. Yeah. Okay. What what flavor did you get? It's okay. Do you want to be friends? Okay. Do you want to go by the swings? I'll race you there. Hey, no fair. Hey, you didn't say when to start. <laughs> Thanks for being my friend, Edward. I'm new here. I don't have any other friends. No problem. You're really cool. It's nice to make a new friend. Hee hee hee. Ah, there you are. Hi, Mommy. Say's mom. I don't see your sprite. Oh, I see you made a new friend. Who might this be, Sayori? That's Edward. He got me this cinnamon popsicle. Ah, did he now? She was looking really sad. I thought I would cheer her up. That's very nice of you, Edward. Sayori, do you mind explaining to Edward why you didn't have money for the popsicle in the first place? La la la. Do I have to? Come on. Okay, okay. Being a bit naughty earlier. Mommy told me not to eat all the candy before dinner yesterday, but I just couldn't help it. So she said I wasn't allowed to get a popsicle today. Indeed, so she was being punished for- Oh no, is she angry at me? I'm sorry. I didn't know that she was in trouble. Oh, I'm glad you made a new friend, Sayori. Huh? Aww. Oh, so Sayori's mom kind of looks like her. You're very kind. It already looks like you two are great friends already. It's okay. You, Edward! I knew it! <laughs> huh? What? <laughs> It was so wholesome, and then Sakurai is gonna do something funny now. Oops. I'm going to assume you fell some reading about the war. Oh, you see, I was up late because I was uh, playing Battlefield 1 on my computer. Technically, that's studying about the war. Big brain. They had automatic weapons. Uh, uh, the Germans used... You know. Excellent! How Great Britain got involved in the war? It's simple. Uh, during the Schlieffen Plan, Germany decided to invade through Belgium. They wheeled around and destroying France. But here's the thing: Belgium, Germany asked Belgium, "Hey, uh, do you want to? Uh, do you mind if we march your soldiers through the country?" And Belgium says, "No." Literally every other nation that has tried that got annexed. So Germany, Germany said, "Please, we'll pay you, and we're not going to annex you." Belgium says, "No, seriously, we have our sovereignty. We can do what we want." Germany says. We're gonna lose too much men if we march through France. Screw it! So they just go through Belgium anyway. This angers Great Britain, who has an alliance with Belgium. So Great Britain says, Germany, you bad. My <laughs> weekly group, that was close. <laughs> What do you mean they, uh, have already passed? What do you mean? Sakurai's lessons seem awesome. Why are you dozing off during them? Intricacies of war then goes to lunch. <laughs> Honestly, I, I, I kind of want to hear the lesson as well. World War I, that's my favorite war. I mean, okay, may maybe I shouldn't say that because it was a horrible war, but hey, in my defense, no one's alive anymore from that period, which makes me kind of sad because I really want to talk to a World War One veteran. Rest in peace to the men that died. The chairs are super shiny. Look at that. Dude's ex machina. I don't know what is. <laughs> Class dismissed, everyone. Everyone begins packing away their things and heading for the door, no doubt eager to refuel after morning session. That is... <sighs> Wait, does Japan do that? Here's the thing in Korea, at least. It's actually not the kids that change classrooms, it's the teachers that change classrooms. So instead of ki the kids just stay in one classroom for the entire, uh, for the entire, uh, you know, for the entire school day, except at lunch. It's the teachers that are usually doing the back and forth. Whereas in America, it's the opposite. But in Japan, do they follow like the in-between procedure? Where it's the students that, the, the schools are structured like 
an Asian style school, but the, the students are the ones moving back and forth? I don't know. I, I've seen it in video games like Yandere Simulator. Oh god, Alex, that, that guy is... It's been... I, I, I got into that game back in like... Uh, I was beginning high school when I got into that game. And it had already been out for like a few years at that point. And I finished high school, and uh, that game is still not out, <laughs> so... <laughs> Anyways, but yeah, like, in, in that game, kids move around. And same in Persona 5, I believe. Wait, wait, Persona 5? Actually, I don't know. I don't know, Yandere Simulator is not reliable. It's a... it's an interesting concept, horribly executed. Interesting concept, horribly executed. The extended universe, the backstory in the universe seemed kind of cool. But that's literally all that's good about it. <laughs> the game itself is laggy, and it's I bet it's not a very reliable source on what Japanese schools are actually like. But yeah, actually, it's definitely not. Whereas, Persona 5, I don't quite remember. So I guess I'll have to talk about that some other time. Anyways. Edward, a word, if you will. Oh, damn. You have me scared, sir. <laughs> I think every student. <laughs> it's facts. Can we have a word? Or can you see me after class? Hmm? Oh? At university, sir? No, no, that would be telling. With the course? Oh, nice. Oh, well, it's going pretty well, I'd say. History is one of my favorite subjects, and World War One is an interesting topic. Yes, World War One. I'm super sad they like just kind of brushed over it, and like the teachers, they don't actually know anything about World War One. They're like, oh, trench warfare. You would dig trenches and you would dig forward. No, you wouldn't dig forward. You would charge in mass charges of men. Yeah. And that's what the common portrayal of the war is, but that's not exactly true either. Like, okay, the teachers, m my history teacher told me, like, trench warfare is where you dig into trenches and you, uh, dig forwards. That's not how it worked. Yes, you had sappers, and not a lot of people seem to know about this, trenches that extended out into no man's land so that they could spy on enemies, but that's not how they advanced. They would just get as much men as possible, crammed them into the trenches, hopefully the shells wouldn't blast them all to pieces before they got out. Ooh, whistle blow. Send the men forward. Second wave. First wave would probably all get massacred. Second wave, all get massacred. Third wave, probably all get massacred. Fourth wave, maybe a few guys would get through. Fifth wave would enter the trenches. Sixth wave would break the line. That was a theory, and that, it honestly, sort of worked. Sort of. It actually did kind of work, guys. It actually kind of did, but... That's the thing about trenches. Trenches, strategic... Are very good at defending things strategically. Trenches are not very good at enemy trenches since they are all facing this way. Like, you know, if there's two trenches, since the trenches are all facing this way, they're pretty much useless to hold. So they usually all just fell back because it was useless. I don't think any of you understand what stood what I was saying. Later on, the British invented tanks so they could break through trenches efficiently and just continue on without needing to refuel. The Germans had these guys called stormtroopers who were absolute badasses. They were, you, they used the first form of combined arms. Well, not combined arms, but they had, like, they lugged around freaking cannons and submachine guns. They had the first submachine guns. Uh, tons of grenades. And, uh, like, their own machine guns. Like, normally light machine guns wasn't really a thing beforehand. I mean, it was, but, like, they, they brought around their own... It's complicated. They, they had everything at, in their arsenal. They were an infantry unit, but they acted like a freaking tank unit. And that's why I love Stormtroopers. Not Star Wars Stormtroopers. They they are a, an insult to the true German Stormtroopers of 19, 1918. It's really a pity. I, want, I wish I could, like, talk to some of the Stormtroopers. But then again, a lot of them probably joined the Nazi party after the war. A few of them, because, you know, they're all super depressed. They either joined the Nazi party or the Communist party. The Communist party probably got purged. The Nazi party probably joined the SA. The Sturm Abeltung. And probably also got purged because, uh... Hitler used the SA to get to as a position. That was the paramilitary arm of the Nazi party. But Hitler didn't really like the SA. 
because they had like a lot of homosexual tendencies, so he decided to use the SS. He purged the SA with the SS, and the SS was his own, own like a uh, personal strike squad. And so he got rid of them, and uh, yeah, that's my brief little history lesson on the rise of the Nazi party. <laughs> yeah. Sorry for falling asleep in class. <laughs> That's true. And he's a te he's a teacher. Good, good. Hmm. Right. <laughs> Thanks. Have a good one too, sir. Dude, this teacher is awesome. He's like one of the coolest teachers I have ever met. And he's not even real. <laughs> Yuri! Is this a choice? Invite Yuri! Aw, oh, come on, I should have saved. Hold on, guys. This is trench warfare, my friends. Take, go forward, dig a trench, wait for the right opportunity. Go forward, dig a trench, wait for the opportunity. I really like trench warfare because uh, it reminds me of the futility of war. Like with mobile or like armored warfare, it's too awesome, it's too badass. But trench warfare is just a man and a gun. It's like the futility of war. Also, World War One didn't really have like a good cause to it. Like unlike World War Two, which the Nazis, the the Germans and the Japanese, they were evil. Like they, those t those two nations, Nazi Germany and Imperial Japan, were evil. They were evil nations, and they deserved to fall, and they rightfully did fall. Although Germany actually, uh, the German like, oh, I'm so sorry for the war crimes thing is actually relatively recent in Japan still. Uh, they still haven't completely gotten over the whole war deal, but you get what I mean, right? Invite Yuri, of course. There we go. Aw, good afternoon, Edward. But yeah, anyways, that's, uh... I, I also like trench work. It's emblematic of World War One. The moral grayness. There's no good or bad. It's just both sides are victims, you know? The one and only. Are you sure? I wouldn't want to disturb your conversation. Hey, Yuri. How's your week been? It's enjoyable so far. Learning a lot of interesting things. <laughs> the weekend. How about you two? How's your week going? It's been okay. <laughs> hmm, that's pretty nice. Oh. Look more interesting, that's Eric. Yeah, same. Monica will probably appreciate it, too. Speaking of which, we'll have a meeting with the club after school today. Yep, we'll be focusing on what to do over Halloween. Halloween! Uh... I do believe there's this thing called Skip Halloween. It says, yes. I don't know why you would want to skip Halloween. Ah... <laughs> <sighs> Normally, though, these days, like, people don't focus on, like, the horror- or, normally when people dress up as horror villains, or er, monsters and ghosts these days, it's always from horror games and, like, super scary, like, gory stuff. The rest of the people dress up as, you know, like, instead of dressing up as ghosts, they just dress up as, like, say, Star Wars characters. They don't do that much these days, because Star Wars is on a nosedive. <laughs> the new movies were awful. The sequel trilogy sucks. The only canon movies, in my opinion, there are only six canon, uh, eight canon movies, because 
fine. I'll, I'll, I'll consider uh, Rogue, Rogue One was pretty good. And Solo, I didn't like it, but like, fine. Some of the scenes were okay. But 7, 8, and 9, nope, those are not canon in my book. <laughs> those movies sucked. Now where was I? Yeah, nor I really liked dressing up as a Captain Rex from The Clone Wars. Captain Rex. And Boba Fett. I really like uh, armor. Aw, oh, maybe I should be a Space Marine. Those things from Warhammer 40k? Nah, I'm too sure. Master Chief, that's... Uh, Maybe it should just be a regular U.S. Song, or... I'll think of it later. Halloween costumes. Woo! I was also Harry Potter once, and, uh... What else was I? Yeah, I've been a lot of things. Captain Rex, Harry Potter... A knight! I was a medieval knight once. That was awesome. <laughs> Not a big fan of fear, Sayori. Sorry, that didn't sound too ominous or weird, did it? Ooh, not at all. Aww. Aww. <laughs> See you guys. Until then. Woo! Mm hmm. Hey everyone! Hey! Natsuki! Hey! Woo! I'm so happy. I get to see you guys again, especially after that absolute disaster of a festival. Hello, Edward. Hoo <laughs> hoo. While school can be a wonderful place to new, uh, learn new things, I'll admit that a weekend break is always appreciated. Facts. It's nice to have a break. Sure. By the way, does anyone know where Monica is? We were just talking about that. She was the one who set this meeting up, yet she's late for it. She rolls her eyes. I bet she's playing the piano or coming back from tennis. She plays tennis? She is really like one of those perfect girls, isn't she? Or whatever her latest hobby is. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Money! Money muffin! Woo! This one brief, don't worry. Okay, everyone. So, as you guys know, Halloween is coming up. Sayori, Sayori and I were talking. How does a Halloween party sound? Halloween party? Did you think you were much of a party girl, Monica? I love parties. They're awesome. No, not that kind of party. Well, a Halloween party sounds awesome, especially if it's with the four girls, you know? <laughs> That was- that sounded perverted. I'm gonna- I'm gonna- I'm gonna go pull out Sayori. I'm kidding. <laughs> oh god, did I really just say that? I'm awful. <laughs> ah. Oh, my neck. Yeah. What am I doing? Yeah, we could share scary stories, dress up, that sort of thing. I love dressing up. Ah. Maybe I should be a Roman soldier. Do I want to be a gladiator or a soldier? I like I like the soldiers more. It's just that orderly. But then again, the Greeks are kind of cool too. How about a Korean? Uh, like a general. That sounds awesome. Like an officer or something. From the Joseon dynasty. Uh, I could be... Ah, oh, jeez, what should I be? Hold on. Oh, damn. I mean, 
It's actually the 8th. I just realized I've got two months to decide on what my Halloween costume will be. Woo! Siri gave me the idea. We could all write horror-themed poems in the spirit of Halloween. Scary poems? Eh, it's not really my kind of thing. What do you guys think? Yeah, why is there a skip Halloween option? It makes no sense. This is gonna be like the festival... Like, I bet Halloween's gonna round off Act 2, but you know... Hopefully it's not gonna be super depressing this time. Mm -hmm. Come on, you don't go trick-or-treating? I mean, I know they don't trick-or-treat- do they not trick-or-treat in Japan as much? I know that in Korea, which is... They... I mean, using Korea as a constant reference for Japan doesn't really, like... I know it's not, like, a great measurement, but it's, like, the only measurement I have, but... I know trick-or-treating has only been a recent thing in Korea, but... I mean, you know... Yeah, it's really not a great measurement, because... In Japan, I heard they, uh... Like, when they first got Christmas, they didn't know what it was. So it was a Santa Claus up on the cross. I'm serious, look it up. <laughs> In Korea, I, I don't think they got Christianity. Um, I think they got Christianity a bit more than that. <coughs> oh, jeez, I did. <laughs> that, went out, went, that went out the wrong way. <coughs> ah, my god, I'm dying. I'd be lying if I said they weren't fun. Yeah, sounds cool to me. Now we're adult. I'm, I'm an. I just realized I'm an adult, and there's the pandemic, and I'm not gonna be able to wear anything. Uh, <laughs> I don't like being an adult. <sighs> I'm in. Ghost stories too. Ooh, go all out. I think that's a wonderful idea. Psh, of course you would, Yuri. Yeah. Okay. I'll scare the crap out of you with my scary stories. I'm down. Yay, it'll be fun, guys! I have just one question, though. I think you hold the event here in school. Assuming you will do while it's dark, wouldn't the school be closed? Ah. <laughs> that, that, oh, that sounds pretty fun. No. Oh, awesome. <gasps> Awesome. Awesome. Okay, that is awesome. I love it. Oh, life. I have a feeling something's gonna go wrong now, though. <laughs> okay. No, oh, come on. That sounds totally awesome, though. Breaking into school. I gotta save now. No, it's a pretty cool idea to break into school. I got a hell yeah, Natsuki. Rebellious teenage spirit break into school. Absolute mad lads. Boo yeah. But what if we get caught? I'm with Natsuki here. Hell yeah. What if the thrill being potentially caught add to the atmosphere? This is so awesome. Are you actually gonna meet a ghost? You might as well. How late is this? Because I, uh... You see, I'm a very important person. I have, uh, 23 parties to attend. The last one ends at 10. Ahem. <clears throat> Whatever. And I also must go trick-or-treating with my younger brother, because he wishes to go and, uh... But what, what am I doing? See? Told you, Monica. This is awesome! Your twice won't hurt anyone. Hell yeah! Am I already on my third page of saves? My god. In the original Doki Doki, I, only, I think I only used like one or two, I'm not sure. Hey, don't overdo it. Aha, break it up, you two. Ah, 
Ow. I'll try. You'll try to not drop it on my foot, or you'll try to drop it on my foot? Also, do the pumpkins rot? Mmm. <laughs> Cupcakes. Well, I am the best. <laughs> That's the key. Never change. How about you, Yuri? Oh, I can't- I, I can't see the volume. Based on what you contributed for the festival, although I suppose this is better for you guys because, you know, you guys can see the full screen. Based on what you contributed for the festival, am I right in assuming some sort of contribution towards the ambience or atmosphere? Yuri closes her eyes clearly in thought, come to appreciate how Yuri is someone who really thinks before she speaks. Yes, I think something like that would be ideal. I'll let you know the finer details once I've settled on something, if that's alright. Of course! Wait! We should all dress up- Of course! Yeah! Yep. MC, I am disappointed in you. Half the fun in Halloween comes from dressing up as something. I want to dress up as a Roman soldier, uh, from the... Uh, from the second, third century. Third century Roman soldier. That's me. Loregma, Lor, 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 Lorica Segmentata. The chainmail. I realize that's actually a dress, but. Whatever. Pants are for barbarians with a nice chainmail skirt and. With bronze greaves and a fancy helmet and a spear, and I'm pretty sure that's illegal. But a spear, a pil. a pilum. A pilum. Pilium? Pilum. And my gladius and a shield, fully armed, decked for battle. By the way, Romans did not wear chainmail around their legs. I, I, I just like I just like adding a bit of like uh, thigh protection for the thighs, you know. They didn't have greaves, but they didn't. Uh, they had greaves, which are shin plates, but it wasn't standard issue. They also had uh, manip manipoles, something like that, arm guards. I prefer using a uh, chainmail, but I've I've seen people. In real life, the, it's a segment, segmented armor, just like the shoulder plates and pretty much all the Roman armor. They're all technically the Romans didn't always use segment armor. They also used uh, something called lor lorica hematica, which is a more common armor. Imagine just a chainmail shirt, but it looks super nice because there's these uh, little chainmail straps that go around the shoulders, and there's a little tie on them. And I don't know why, just Roman, Roman chainmail shirts just look better than like normal chainmail shirts. My throat hurts now, I'm just gonna not talk for a while. Facts. Facts. Also, people, don't wear cheap Roman armor. It looks like a tin can, it looks awful. Get yourself one from a real armor. That way it looks good. Question is, what is to do with Halloween? I mean, Roman soldier, like, and clone troopers, for example, have nothing to do with Halloween. But when I was little, clone troopers were all the rage. When I was in like third grade, because I was like the Clone Wars era. I love dressing up as a clone trooper. I think I just love dressing up as a soldier type. You know, it just makes you seem all like armored and like I'm ready for battle. I'm an awesome person, you know, something like that. Oh, I could dress up as a stormtrooper. Not the Star Wars stormtroopers, but like the World War One ones. Not World War II ones. Those guys are evil. And I'm pretty sure I'm breaking some hate crime laws, but... World War One stormtrooper... Well, to be fair, people are stupid. They can't tell the difference <laughs> between a World War One German and a World War II German, so I suppose that's not really a good idea. How about a regular soldier? British soldier, maybe? That's on the mountains. Or maybe just screw up with the soldiers and dress like uh, the 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 main character from Persona Five. Boom, that's that's a good one. But I'll do my best. Do I get a choice? Do I get a choice in uh, choosing? Okie dokie. 
I must save as often as possible. Do I get to choose what? Do I get to choose what uh, cloak uh, like costume I'll wear? <sighs> Seems so much fun. Why couldn't my life be like this? I feel like so oh god, this is the, this is the kind of thing Dan Salvato was satirizing though. Uh, what am I doing? I'm not a bad person. I'm interesting. I'm an interesting person. I'm totally capable of having a fun life if I want. You know what? I guess I really can't complain right now though because uh, what do you call it? Because I'm in the middle of a- we're in the middle of a pandemic, as of the time I'm making this. I think I already mentioned that earlier on. <laughs> hey, it's not like I can help it, you know? Woo! Okay. I think that's it for now, guys. I am super stoked for... Yeah, I'm, I'm really stoked for next... For, for the Halloween event now. That sounds so much fun, sneaking into school. Oh my god. Ah. Anyways, that is fun. This mod is super well made. I hope you all loved it, guys. I guess that's all. I guess that's it for this video. I hope you all liked it, guys. Remember to like and subscribe to this video, because if you don't, you will fall asleep in class. And uh, yeah, okay. I, I don't know. I don't know, guys. What am I supposed to say? Load empty slot. Whatever. Anyways, yeah, so if you don't want to get, if you don't want to fall asleep in class and miss out on all your stuff, you'll like and subscribe to my video. You'll like and subscribe. And smash that bell, too. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed that video. The sky's up, and you guys are awesome. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!